let's have a look at the differences between the different iroscopes. So there's the two iroscopes that actually take a picture and then this is the iris microscope that you view the iris in three dimensions live. Um, the, the general purpose uh, of these cameras is to do an iridology session. Now there's two ways of looking at the equipment. The fact that you can take a picture adds a lot of benefit from the point of view of being able to capture something right now at this point in time and then compare it with a future picture or a future consultation. Um, the iris changes slowly over time. Some people say it changes too slowly to be able to see anything. The thing is, now that we're actually taking pictures, we can actually see kind of how it changes over time. Um, the fact of being able to take a picture is very useful for patient compliance because it's a very good uh, visual aid. We can actually show the iris to the person. Everybody's curious about their own health and actually being able to have like a glimpse, like seeing clues of what's going on in their body visually is, is, a, is a great way of keeping their enthusiasm high and actually following your advice. Um, the differences between this particular iroscope and this particular iroscope is this one here is the one we advise for general naturopaths, people who have iridology as part of a, a whole naturopathic consultation. It's small, it's easy to transport. We just take a couple of pictures and we add that information uh, with all the other information from the iridology session, or the naturopathy session. Um, now, they're both professional level cameras. Uh, this is a compact uh, and this is a digital SLR. Now, th the main difference between the two, this one here, the sensor on the, the digital SLR um, is actually a lot bigger. So even though both cameras take very good quality pictures of any type of iris, blue, brown, or hem hematogenic, um, the, the fact that this one is a bigger sensor, it can actually capture more light coming in. So for, for dark brown eyes, um, the, the quality or the colors is a slightly higher compared to this one here. Um, now, there is a slight increase in cost due to the fact that there's a lens, uh, a macro lens. Um, now, if you've got a lot of patients coming in into your practice that have got uh, hematogenic irises, um, we would actually advise you to go for one of these cameras. Um, so, that's the main difference between these here. Uh, just one thing to, to bear in mind is the fact that you can take a picture, it's actually very useful for when you're actually giving presentations, uh, writing brochures, um, because you can actually take a picture, project it onto a wall, put it in a brochure, being able to record that image uh, for your kind of uh, uh, publishing kind of capabilities is very useful. Um, now, when we actually advise people to go for one of these, like the iris microscopes, is more in the case when somebody is, is actually specialized mainly in iridology, and so they have a naturopathy session, but they might have another session afterwards where they specifically look at the iris. They might spend a whole hour uh, looking at the iris because with this one here, we can actually zoom right into the fibers. We can actually see the differences, um, whether some deposit is on the top of the iris or mixed in within the fibers. Um, we can actually see the movement of the pupil, whether it's kind of uh, moving quickly or if there's big differences um, in that. Um, and the fact of being able to see it in three dimensions, like having a picture, you, you don't see three dimensions. Now, the lateral, like the, the side lighting, kind of helps being able to see kind of the, the, the relief of the, uh, of, the, of the iris. Now, the fact of being able to see in 3D is, is wonderful. Um, so, yeah, so kind of this one will be more kind of suitable for people who do a lot of iridology. Now, the thing is, with somebody who does a lot of iridology, we actually also advise them to get a camera because with this one here, you can't actually see the evolution over time. So now bear in mind that the, the RS Explorer lens on the front does actually detach and you can actually go and set it onto a camera, either of these types of cameras. Um, so then we advise the person who gets this to actually put it on the camera, take a picture so that the patient can see it so you can have a snapshot in time, but then actually move on to the RS, Explore, the RS microscope to actually have a closer look 
uh, at the specific aspects of the iris. So I hope I've answered most of your questions um, related to the differences between these. But if you've got any more questions, kind of give us a call or send us an email and I'm sure we'll be able to help you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.